Hello traders, welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the fourth module Super Dome Interactive. In this lesson I'm going to teach you how to use and how to develop a stop strategy for your ATM strategies. Uh, you're going to learn how to use an auto break even stop loss and a, and a trailing stop loss. Alright, so we are going to be using the same uh, crude oil chart and the same crude oil uh, Super Dome and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the Invest to 10 ticks. No, we are going to actually uh, um, create a new ATM strategy with two targets. We are going to use uh, one contract for the first target, one contract for the second target. We are going to use a five stop loss, a five tick stop loss because the market is quite uh, uh, well. It's, uh, because the market is quite thin at the moment. And uh, we are going to use two profit targets, one at 10 ticks and one at uh, 15 ticks. Now, this means that uh, when uh, we go uh, either short or long, we don't know yet, uh, we are going to take profits at 10 ticks for the first contract and at 15 pips for the second contract. Okay, remember that don't mind these two colors, these two colors only represent the low of the day and the high of the day. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a stop strategy. So uh, to create a stop strategy you just go to uh, the stop strategy drop down menu and go to custom. You're gonna get this uh, uh, nice stop strategy window um, prompted out and uh, the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to use the auto break even in ticks. This means that, uh, uh, well, the profit trigger means that whenever we hit five ticks, in this case, we, uh, well, the um, uh, the stop losses are going to go to break even, okay? Uh, you can set it to the, your first target, which will mean that when you hit your first target, uh, 10 ticks, your stops will go to break even. For this example, we are going to use a five stick profit trigger for the auto break even ticks. In ticks, I'm sorry. Now we are going to set the auto trail also in ticks. So uh, we are going to set the auto trail uh, parameters and we are going to set first of all the profit trigger. This profit trigger we are going to set it to seven ticks. We are going to set the stop loss to, to four ticks and the frequency to one. This means that once we hit seven ticks in profit, the auto trail will start working to four ticks um, back and every single tick that we move in profit. Now, um, you can also uh, save the template or save this uh, stop strategy that, that we just created under a name. We are going to call it Invest2. Um, stop loss one okay we save it and we click okay now we have this the uh, strategy that, that we just created here on the drop down menu remember that we need to choose the strategy on both of the targets because we uh, once we well when we get uh, or when we buy this market uh, the stop loss orders will be two separate orders compounded into one. Now, uh, because uh, we have created a new, a, um, well, a new ATM strategy, we are also going to save it, okay? And when we save this ATM strategy, it's going to be saving the uh, ATM parameters or the ATM strategy parameters and also the stop strategy parameters. So we are going to call this invest to two targets. And there you go. The strategy is in place and uh, we are going to buy this market. Order fell. And as you can see, well, I'm sorry, we sold this market, but it's fine. It's, it, this is just a um, an example. And uh, when, uh, well, when price moves down five ticks, this stop loss will automatically move to break even. When we move eight ticks, it will start. It will start trailing every single tick we move in profit. So this is basically how you create 
a uh, full ATM strategy with, with its own stop strategy.